new black comedy or drama, I guess you could call it. It recently came out uh, under the studio A24. It is based on a series of tweets or, you know, a long Twitter thread from way back in 2015. It stars Taylor Page, Riley Keough, Coleman Domingo, Jason Mitchell, among other people throughout the cast. And like I said, it's based on a Twitter thread that got turned into a movie. Taylor Page plays the main title character in this movie, Zola. Uh, she plays a stripper from Detroit who meets another stripper played by Riley Keough. They kind of hit it off and become friends, and then Riley Keough's character named Stefani invites Zola to go on a trip to Florida. I'm not gonna spoil everything that happens if you haven't read the Twitter thread this movie's based on, but basically, they go on this trip to Florida and a whole bunch of crazy wild shit happens. Just a whole bunch of craziness that uh, ends up being more than Zola bargained for. If you wanna know more, I would highly recommend that you read that Twitter thread that came out in 2015 by Zola because it is some really entertaining shit. Not that we should be surprised that there's a whole bunch of craziness or wackiness or insane shit going on in Florida of all places. Florida's gotta be one of those places that you almost don't believe is a real place. Like it's so wild, it feels like you're taking a peek into like modern day ghetto Narnia or something like that. Have you ever like gone to Google and just typed in Florida man or Florida woman and just seen what pops up? Seriously, the shit is wild. Having said that, Florida is one of the most beautiful, gorgeous places that I've ever been to in my life, so I'm not gonna slander it completely but you guys know there, there's there's a different breed of people that live in Florida so I am somebody who has read the Twitter thread that this movie is based on and I was interested and excited to see this movie I had seen a lot of buzz about it over the weekend a lot of friends had seen it and they said oh man it's awesome you should check it out so here I am reviewing this movie first thing I do want to single out is the performers in this movie uh, Taylor Page does a very good job uh, portraying Zola uh, Riley Keough does what she's asked to do and she portrays the exact same character character that that Twitter thread portrayed. Kind of interesting because Taylor Page has this you fucking with the wrong bitch type look on her face for the entire movie. And uh, she does it really well. She carries it extremely well. The one I want to single out the most is Coleman Domingo. Like nobody in this movie is going to get nominated for anything, but you feel like if it were up for a nomination, I feel like Coleman Domingo would get nominated for something. He was incredible in this movie, actually. He has to uh, go back and forth between these two accents. So he's simultaneously terrifying and hilarious in this movie at different points. Say the thing that jumped out the most to me in this movie was the sound. Sonically, there's a lot of really interesting interesting things going on in this film that I do appreciate that they brought to the forefront. There is a little bit of narration in the movie, but I like the fact that they cut up the narration, they break it up, they spread it out throughout the film, and it's never just one long monologue or one long speech or a paragraph. Like, nobody's just talking out loud in a book format to you. Sometimes the narration is as simple as uh, Zola saying, like, one word. She might say one word or she might say one sentence, and it gives you the impression that she's reading a tweet from that Twitter thread back in 2015. I think that's the vibe of the entire movie. I think the movie is trying to give you that feeling of reading a Twitter thread, except they're trying to help you visualize it by creating it in live action. In terms of sound mixing, sound design, this movie actually impressed me a lot. There's some interesting sound effects and stuff that they weave throughout the movie. You're inside Twitter, and I don't even know how that makes sense, but that's how you feel while you're watching the movie. The movie looks good. I mean, it's not, they don't do anything crazy or over the top with the camera work. There's a lot of long takes, a lot of uh, shots over the shoulder or from behind. There's a lot of shots of a car on a road going anywhere or going nowhere or whatever, but they do a pretty decent job at capturing uh, the nightlife. I'm not entirely sure if they filmed this in Florida. If you're looking to laugh, if you're looking to get scared, if you're looking to get entertained, I think this movie has a lot to offer you. I do have some bad news that comes with that. I do feel like this movie is going to intentionally irritate a lot of people because I feel like the way that it was designed, it's supposed to kind of be that way. Lola, like I said, she's kind of got that look on her face for most of the movie. There are times where she's disoriented, confused, irritated, like pissed, and I feel like that's gonna transfer over to the audience, especially when you look at how things are portrayed in this movie. Characters, uh, the way that they talk, I mean, sometimes there's a lot of loud and obnoxious shit going on. I mean, the way that characters act, almost everything about this movie is meant to be kind of loud and in your face, and some people are not really built for that type of experience. I'm probably not as irritated as a lot of other people watching 
watching this movie, but I definitely can feel that and I do understand where it's coming from. So obviously I see that they portrayed some stuff pretty accurately in this movie and I was excited to see certain things and how they would look on screen. But then when you read the Twitter thread and you compare it to the movie, it almost feels like the movie held back and like it could have gone further in some instances. Not to say that they have to do everything exactly by the letter down to the last detail, but it just feels disappointing because it feels like they pulled up lame in some instances. And when I look at the ending of the film, I do feel very underwhelmed. I feel very disappointed with the way that the movie left off. I just feel like there was a stronger point that would have benefited the story that the movie could have ended on and it did. Definitely this movie's not gonna be for everybody and it's not gonna be everybody's cup of tea, but I for one had an interesting experience watching. This movie wasn't that bad. Bad. I'm gonna put this one in the Daily Planet. It's slightly above average. Tell me, have you read the Twitter thread that this movie is based on? Give me your thoughts in the comment section. Tell me what you thought about the movie. Please like and subscribe to the Super Fan Show. And if you like what you see, tell me how you feel and stay tuned to hear more from the Man of Steel. Peace.